Hello, my name is Katherine Sendak, and welcome to SEPA's State of the Alliance, a series bringing together thought leaders from Europe and North America to deliberate the most pressing challenges facing allies and partners. Today, I am honored to welcome the Romanian Minister of National Defense, Angel Tilvar. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. For more than a year, Ukraine has skillfully and courageously defended itself and its European neighbors against Russia's aggression. Today, we reflect on the transatlantic community's role and the role that they will need to play to ensure Ukraine's victory. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Yes, we wanted to start off the conversation today with your assessment of the Alliance's support for Ukraine up to this point. From the very beginning, the response was uh, without any equivoc. Mm -hmm. uh, we condemned the unprovoked illegal aggression, and uh, we positioned ourselves in this respect. Uh, we produced a compact and uh, in-line answer to the challenges that uh, went out from, uh, from the aggression. And uh, as a Romanian, I am proud to share with you the fact that from the very beginning, we uh, helped the refugees. And uh, to give you some details, more than 3.5 million refugees went through Romania. We organized the hub in Suchava. And uh, for those who decided to remain, to stay in Romania, we uh, provided the necessary conditions in terms of uh, medical assistance. We gave the possibility of Ukrainian kids to attend uh, our schools. We gave the possibility of the, our Ukrainian friends to, to work within uh, uh, in Romania and uh, <clears throat> we also we also provided them with the necessary support they needed mm -hmm. this was an institutional effort but at the same time i'm very proud to say that the romanian people itself and the ngos were extremely active in helping uh, people who were uh, in in need on the other hand besides the humanitarian support uh, for uh, more than uh, one uh, year, as you mentioned in the, in the introduction of uh, your uh, interview, um, we provided the safe way for uh, the Ukrainian grains mm. to uh, pass and, uh, and have a safe route in order to go in places where they were needed. This way we prevented uh, famish, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm referring to North Africa. Uh, uh, famished there uh, would have had as a result a uh, possible migra uh, migratory uh, push, po a possible migratory challenge uh, for uh, the rest of the, for the, for the Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, to bring uh, other elements to uh, your uh, question, um, international community and the alliance as I said uh, at the very beginning, from the very beginning, without any equivoc, positioned itself to condemn mm -hmm. and to take the necessary measures to secure uh, the eastern flank. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as uh, other international formats are concerned, and I include here uh, European formats mm -hmm. and, and other international formats, the sanctions against, uh, against Russia were a subject of discussion from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pressure to determine, to determine uh, uh, Russia to to reconsider their uh, their uh, act of aggression uh, were uh, the keynote elements. That's great. And and to your point, you know, Russia uh, has brought together the alliance and and the continent um, over the past year. Do you think there are opportunities <coughs> to increase that cohesion and security within the alliance, maybe particularly as it relates to the Black Sea? Cohesion is a key word. Mm. Solidarity is another key word. Mm -hmm. In order to increase, it means that uh, for the moment, the level of cohesion and solidarity is not the, the, the desirable one. Or I think that uh, uh, so far, we have behaved in such a way that cohesion and solidarity were uh, at uh, uh, their best as far as the alliance is concerned. Mm. Uh, in fact, we know that uh, besides, uh, besides having control in a few days 
upon Kiev and in several weeks uh, on Ukraine. Uh, Putin uh, didn't achieve his goals. Mm. Another goal of his was to to see cracks mm. within the alliance, within the democratic world. Unfortunately for him, uh, this thing uh, uh, didn't happen. It means that uh, cohesion and, uh, and solidarity are still present and uh, they are uh, milestone, uh, milestone uh, symbols of our uh, collaboration. Mm -hmm. Well, that brings up a good point about the results of the Madrid summit last summer um, with NATO's commitment to increase posture and resilience on NATO's eastern flank. How would you assess that's gone over the past year? And are there things you're looking forward to getting out of the Vilnius summit this summer? Thank you for, uh, for the question, because it gives me the opportunity of, uh, of um, making some comments uh, on the issues you, you suggested. Uh, Madrid's strategic concept uh, was extremely important. It was well prepared, mm -hmm. and the results out of it uh, were uh, the results we expected. From our perspective, the fact that uh, the Black Sea region was included in the debates and uh, in the conclusions of the, of the strategic concept uh, is uh, of a paramount importance, and I'll tell you why. Uh, there is, a, or there was, an attention on on the Baltic region, and uh, a desire to strengthen the eastern flank as a whole. Black Sea gained in relevance and uh, profiles itself as one of the most challenging uh, areas and zones uh, from the perspective of the of the aggression of uh, Russia against uh, Ukraine. But not uh, not only. So we are interested as Romanians is to profile in one of the purposes, uh, one of the objectives of our visit here in Washington was to provide the, the arguments to get support for uh, having uh, uh, Black Sea as an important issue of interest for the Alliance. From this perspective, I think that uh, the arguments for uh, having uh, Black Sea at such a level of attention are easy to, to anticipate. We speak about the fact that uh, the Russian fleet, a part of the Russian fleet, an important part of the Russian fleet is in, uh, in uh, Crimea. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, on, the, on the Black Sea we could see uh, floating mines. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, we intend to exploit natural uh, uh, reserves uh, within the special economic uh, zone mm -hmm. In the Black Sea, and uh, we need protection because uh, we are sure that uh, Russia won't be very happy to have a, to, to have other alternatives to their being source of uh, of uh, energy. So uh, we have the reasons to believe that uh, this area uh, is worth uh, having a debate and is worth being supported. On the other hand. Uh, we need infrastructure from, uh, from the Alliance perspective. You mentioned the presence. Uh, we mentioned the, the position, the, the position, the, the, uh, let's say the advanced position and uh, the, the fact that uh, in Romania we have uh, places where uh, the Allies, Allied military work together and uh, interoperability is a key word for everything they do. It's also important and profiles us as uh, uh, being a nation that can uh, rise to the occasion, to put it this way. Absolutely. And you, you've so clearly laid out the security challenges that Romania faces, especially from Russia in the Black Sea. I understand you all are increasing your defense spending to 2.5 percent of GDP in 2023. Can you explain to us some of your capability investment priorities? And has the war in <coughs> Ukraine changed any of those priorities for Romania? First of all, I want to tell you, and uh, I want to... Uh, to appreciate the, fa the fact that the Parliament of Romania and the people of Romania understand, uh, understands and understood uh, six years ago the necessity to increase uh, military spendings. We had uh, 2 percent, now we had 2.5. This uh, gave us on one hand the possibility of having at this moment 
high mars uh, patriot uh, and other capabilities which are uh, extremely important for the eastern flank and for the, the allied forces on the other hand 2.5 uh, is in line with the decisions of the madrid uh, strategic uh, concept and uh, i'm glad that uh, this give uh, gives us the possibility of uh, of uh, having other acquisitions in order to provide the best equipment for our uh, military to fulfill their uh, their uh, goals. That's wonderful. So I understand that you're here in DC to also mark the 30th anniversary of the state partnership plan between Romania and the state of Alabama. Yes. 30 years, how wonderful. Um, I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that partnership over the past 30 years and what it's currently focused on. For us, for the Romanians, I think after the revolution, there are uh, three extremely important uh, moments. One of them is uh, us being NATO members. Mm -hmm. The second one is us being members of EU. But these two events were anticipated by by the strategic partnership with the United States. Mm -hmm. Before the strategic partnership with the United States, and we celebrate 26 years this year, we had the state partnership with the state of Alabama, mm -hmm. which was a way in which we established close contacts. Mm -hmm. These contacts uh, uh, produced good effects and good collaboration along the years. So after 30 years, I think that uh, we can be uh, an example of a success story as far as collaboration between friends can be perceived and can be understood. Mm -hmm. More than that, I think it's time to expand this partnership. Mm -hmm. I had uh, meetings uh, during this day with uh, uh, prominent figures of the uh, parliamentarians here uh, from both uh, chambers, mm -hmm. and they were enthusiastic when they uh, they uh, they were uh, they were were told the idea that this can be a basis for economical mm -hmm. development because uh, uh, people know each other very well. They work together. They participated in a lot of activities. Now it's time to put things forward. That's why we'll have discussions um, in the next two days at the level of chambers in, uh, in the state of Alabama because we want to expand this friendship and uh, generate as much, uh, as much beneficial, uh, let's say, as, much ben as many benefits as possible out of it. Absolutely. And those friendships and relationships are so critical to moving the ball forward for both Alabama and Romania. That's fantastic. I could see this because we have uh, Mihail Kogalniciano military base mm -hmm. um, in Romania, not far from Constanza. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could see how important it is for military to know each other for a long time, to work, uh, uh, to work together, to understand each other. And the fact that uh, they met uh, in other uh, uh, operational uh, theaters, uh, such as Afghanistan or uh, Iraq, uh, was extremely important. Absolutely. And finally, sir, I just want to point out, you know, a long state partnership program and increasing resilience and posture in the eastern flank and NATO's wonderful work on the strategic concept, taking a long-term view of the alliance. Uh, anything that comes to mind for you to increase defense and deterrence measures for the alliance moving forward? I think, uh, and I'm not original because uh, the General Secretary of NATO put it, resilience uh, starts at the level of uh, every citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, deterrence is uh, something else. It belongs to specialized, uh, specialized groups uh, of uh, society. We need to increase uh, resilience and deterrence. We are uh, convincing because we are on the good side of history. We, uh, what unites uh, us uh, is uh, the fact that we believe in the same set of values 
and this uh, makes our discussion and our collaboration uh, work uh, better. And uh, when you fight for a good cause, for, for a right cause, I think uh, uh, the, your chances to convince and to win are, are uh, at their best. Well, what a perfect note to end this discussion. Thank you so much, Mr. Minister, for joining us today. Thank you very much for, uh, for having me here, and uh, it was a pleasure uh, having this conversation with you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into this conversation on State of the Alliance, hosted by SEPA. Be sure to visit SEPA.org and follow SEPA's social media accounts to stay up to date on the analysis and latest events.